Hello everybody, my name is Toscar, and today I'd like to say that I never went to sleep last night, and I'm not even tired. Uh, here's the time, and I never went to sleep, I don't even know what that message is. Wow, is there spiderweb still up? Hang on, uh, who's messaged me? No, that's not the message. Let me see. I gotta check this, I'm sorry. Hello Jet, you're a bit low. Oh, look at that. There's a jet marker there. There's a moon. That's a pretty nice day. Whoa, look at the birds. Hello, birdies. Yes, I, uh, it's morning. I've been working a lot the last few days plus. And I want to make this video to say Happy New Year to everyone. I just recently did a speed art for Bashiverse. And I've already stated in the video, I don't want any subscribers, especially over that. And I'm going to make a big plan with my channel. I'm thinking I'm going to take a leap of faith and get some people to animate my uh, animation that I want to do, the 2D art one. I could do 3D, it's no problem, it's easy, but it takes a lot of work and all these little fidgety problems happen. I think my eyes look better too. Yeah. Okay, they're okay, I guess. I haven't felt any problems since, well, midday, and I've been working like, I was working six hours straight on that Bashiverse art thing because I was like, I, I really wanted to do it and I did it. Honestly, I might feel irritating the eyes, but man, I can't believe I pulled an all nighter. However, I did have some issues um, today, oh, sorry, yesterday, <laughs> on the last day of the year. It's now the 1st of January. The problems I had were that, um, when I was doing stuff, um, I had, wait, what was, oh yeah, I had pains in the chest, I had pains in the head, I've had pains all over, and I'm like, you know what, I'm Talska, I'm just gonna pull through. Now, in my eyes, I know Talska, and he doesn't need to sleep, he, he's uh, really good. I had to stay up all night, for one extra reason as well, I had to make sure that this guy in the street, I'm not calling out names anywhere, because I'm not a bully, I'm not someone who points people out. He comes up and he starts smashing up our fence, and it's like, no, dude, don't do that, it's not nice. I feel like taking some footage of what damage he uh, done. I do have pictures of it prior to getting damaged somewhere, I don't know where, but he did damaged that fence. He wasn't very nice. And yeah. But I was thinking about it because though my body felt fear, I did not mentally. And that's Talscar for you. I love Talscar. That's why I chose the name. That's why I like the character. Now, if I was really tired, I wouldn't be able to maintain my focus. Now, I'm always forgetful, but I don't feel tired, and I know what tired feels like. It's when you're like, oh, I want to fall asleep, and your head, you have a section of your head, I do feel a little bit, but it's chemicals in your head that control whether you sleep or not. Now, if I really wanted to, I could pull all-nighters all the time just about. It's just going to affect me in the long run, and it's not healthy for your body. Now, I'm really sure it's not healthy for my body to not move, so that's why I'm moving and whatnot. Well, there's the clothesline where I did some chin-ups and I killed my arms and my guts and I was like, oh, I'm in pain. That, that hurts. I feel like i got to do that stuff a lot more often now just to be ready for anything that happens, but then again, I don't need to. I'm Talska. <laughs> he's uh, fast, but he's not powerful. I gotta really write that story. You know, I got, I got big plans for that character, but I'm never gonna get there unless I get support from people around the world and all over the place. Because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be one of the next big characters since Superman. Just because of who he is, where he came from, and all this la di da da. I mean, he, he started off with nothing. Well, actually, he started off as a dragon. But then he got that taken away from him and let to live his life as a human being without even knowing he was ever a dragon. Although, if he saw something like a statue or a dragon or something, he'd have some physical feeling that he knows this. Something about it tells him that, you know, I know what this is. 
and that's the character. And originally he he's quite weak. He he doesn't have much power. He doesn't know how to fight. What what reasons does he have to fight or do anything at all? He doesn't like pain. He doesn't like blood. Just like me, I don't really like blood or pain. But you know, there's a crunching point where it has to happen in someone's life some time or another. I mean, everyone knows that. I mean, I got somehow, I think it's this elbow, maybe not. I don't know which one it was. I grazed it, I'm like, where'd that graze come from? But, yeah, that's okay. Uh, so, my plans at the moment are to figure out whether I'm going to get that uh, video animated or not. I'm making this vlog video thingy because... Oh, I'm I'm just so impressed that I was able to pull an all-nighter. I'm outside because everyone's asleep and I don't need to disturb the neighborhood. As you can see, everyone is asleep. You can't hear anyone other than me. But I'm happy for myself. I've always said I can do it. I never realized I would actually do it. <laughs> I do feel like I should let my body rest, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I mean, I've been sitting down for so long. I love sleeping. But what's the point? I mean, here's here's the catch about my sleeping habits. I've never been able to sleep. Now, by never, I mean I've always had a part of my mind always awake. I can't have dreams or anything, and I think I'd have to be extremely tired to have that happen. And whatnot. Now, the reason you don't want to pull all-nighters is because it has long-term bad health benefits. And health benefits are what keep you alive and going healthily. I'm just looking at the moon. It's it's a pretty moon. For a half moon. It's blurry. It looks like a piece of art. Now, for you guys who do watch this video, I do appreciate you viewing. I do appreciate it if you have a look at my channel and choose to subscribe. But other than that, I'm going to change the way I say things. I don't want to force you to subscribe. I mean, if you want to subscribe, that's up to you. you got to like the content you're viewing. But I want to play this in a different way. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing how easy it would be for someone like me, with all these skills and strategies and abilities, to get up. So, I want to take it to another level where it's actually a lot harder. Because everyone's done it the way I'm doing it. I'm asking everyone, uh, please like, come subscribe, more people like, kind of, blah, 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 blah. and I'm seeing that I'm just going down the same path that everyone else has gone down. But this time, I want to take down, I want to go down the unique pathway, where I basically say, please like if you if you enjoyed the video, please like, and if you enjoy all the content of you or whatever, I, I got to figure out how to say it. I gotta be more professional about it. I'm inventing it right now. You're viewing me trying to invent the future of getting subscriptions without asking. I mean, no one ever not asks. Everyone asks you to subscribe. You have to, because honestly, you're the viewer. You're watching this video. Now, the reason you're watching this video is because you thought there might be something good in here. And the reason you're this far is because you found me interesting so far. Now, for you to find me interesting right now, I don't know. I feel like I'm interesting because, you know, I've been asleep. I haven't slept, and I've told you guys that. And it's like, wow, you are impressive for someone that hasn't slept all night and for New Year's Day. I mean, I'm impressed with myself. How could you not be? And this is not a selfie stick. This is a camera in my hand. Um, I know where we were at, roughly, but my mind's just dawdling but um that's the thing to invent I gotta find a way to ask you to like the video but without asking you to subscribe and the way I gotta ask you to subscribe is please view all my other content to decide whether this channel is appropriate for you or something I gotta be professional about it and the reason I gotta be professional because I gotta make this unique if it's not unique no one's gonna wanna be a part of it I mean I I wanna be unique in many many ways I wanna be the one person that invented their own style of getting up there in YouTube I wanna be one of those guys who invents a way to go places and be wherever they want to be. 
And I also think to myself that maybe one day I want to start from the bottom again and work my way up. I mean, Talisker. Whenever we talk about Talisker, I'm not referring exactly to myself, but I take the name for myself because that's who I want to be. Though there's actually no real way to become that character because it's too powerful. There's ways to be similar. Is that a train? You can hear a train. What is that? Is that it's freaking loud. If that's a really a freaking train, it sounds like it's gonna crash or something. Actually, it's a good train. And at this time of the day... Oh boy. Hey look, the moon's clear. You can see the moon. Moon. Anyway, I want to know everyone's opinions. I want to know if anyone wants to be a part of growing. I want to know who wants to collaborate. I want to know the people that really, really hate my guts and they want to try and invent a way of, you know, using that to get around YouTube and getting up there. I want to be... You know, I can't. That, that's the problem. I know you can hate people, but I'm not able to hate people. I mean, I could for a little while, but the thing is, in my mind, everyone has that ability to change. And because of Talisker, I can't really hate. I'm not allowed to hate. Otherwise, I'm not really Talisker, or I'm not trying to be Talisker. Okay, for, hate is quite a large word. Hate could mean so many different things. One reason for, to say this is, Okay, if I hate you, the audience, what is my reason for hating you? Do I hate you on a physical level where I want to beat you up? Or do I hate you on a verbal level where I tell you to get lost or swear my head off to get rid of you? That, that's the thing. You know, to be honest, this is how I stand right now. I'm at home. This is not my garden. And this is what my dad built. And I mean, he wanted this stuff a long time ago. I don't know why they're purple. Why are they turning purple? Jesus. Aloe vera, and it's turning purple. Can you see the purpleness? No. Okay. My dad built this. I remember when he built it, I helped shift it. I don't hate my dad completely, but I do have things I hate about him. He, he's not entirely the nicest person in the world, but he likes to think of himself that way. Nashies, they're gonna get eaten by the birds. Our pet cat who died a long time ago is buried under the ground here. And underneath these pavers here somewhere, I don't, I think it's right here where I'm standing, is a chook we had die. That's one of the strawberry plants that I planted here that survived because, you know, no one ever watered it. And I was the only one who ever watered anything and I got sick and then I lost my mojo to do anything and because I'm not used to watering garden or looking after it. Nothing happened. Good morning, chickens. How are you? You okay, chickies? I'm pretty sure they'll be happy to come out. I reckon they'll come out happy. I mean, it'll be morning for them. This is not what they're used to, though. I'm happy to let them out. I mean, it's, it's morning for freak's sake. Who wouldn't want to come out in the morning? It's just the only problem is mum's going to get annoyed. <laughs> you know, she's going to hear the chickens going, ah, I want my breakfast. I know, it's a bit early for you girls, isn't it? Hello, chookies. Good morning. How are you today? I don't even know how to put this pin in the ground. Jeez. Oh, jeez. This pin is so... Bent like a banana. I'm just going to put this to the side. And I'm going to cheat. <laughs> got so much stuff i got to do. Jeez. I want to give... I honestly have one thing I want to do. Hang on. We're going to go into here and say hello to the girls. Hello, Chookies. Hello, how are you? Hello. Oh, it's... it's such a shame that I can't exactly get clean film of you. Oh, that's okay. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I really, really wanted to give my project, my animation, to an Australian citizen rather than 
someone else overseas. But the thing is, I can't afford <laughs> an Australian. I can't afford even a person from the United Kingdom. The problem is, what can you afford? I mean, I wish I could afford it. Then I could get someone from Australia to do my animation. But the problem is, if you can't afford it, you, you can't do it. I, I really want this to come out really nice. I want someone's heart to go into this piece of work. And if it doesn't turn out, well, I've got to use it until I get mine to work. And until I can save up some money. And it's so hard to save up money when you don't have a job. I mean, the only money I get is... Well, the only money I get gets blown on fuel and economy and food sometimes because, you know, I normally get food very, very late at night. Like, I have to stay up till 10 and I want to go to bed by that time. I want to go to bed at 8 or 9 just so I can get some rest and I can wake up in the morning, go to school, come back home and... Wanna... No, those rings never leave my eyes. Never. Unless... No, I'm going to look at the videos and take notice of that stuff more often. <laughs> I'll just use lemons on my eyes and see if the sting burns it all away. Like all the brown. So it's amazing how street lights are still on at this time of day. I mean, look at all the light coming up. And look at the street light. Government. The government could save so much more money if they friggin' didn't leave the street light on. But it's not about the government, it's about the people. Hey people, you're getting charged to friggin' keep that street light on. Look how clear that is. I'm, I'm happy. And to be honest, I'm gonna tell people right now, if I ever did get to talk to a famous YouTuber, I wouldn't be one of those guys that are like, Oh, um, I, I'm such a huge big fan. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be like a fan. That's the right word. I'm not going to be like a fanboy. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be friendly. I'm going to act like they're a human being. Because they are human beings. They're no different to me or you. They just have better seeming lives. They have to have better lives to make your lives feel less miserable. That's the whole idea of being up there and being a YouTuber. I mean... Their goals are your goals to some degree. I mean, you want to support their goals. That's what I can see. Because if I tell you that I want a Bugatti Veyron, which is just a car from a game, well, it's, it, it, look, it, it, make, it reminds me of the Bugatti Veyron because of how fast the car is. And it's, um, it's, it's a car that for, it can uh, how do you, how do I say this it's so hard to explain <laughs> there, there's an F1 formula car in the game and the rival to that F1 formula car is the Bugatti Veyron in that game and by the way I'm just going to point out that it's not the actual name of the car in the game it just it's so similar that it's not funny well actually it, it's it's in, if you're a car enthusiast, then I'm so sorry because it's not as similar as I just said. But to someone who's not a car enthusiast, yes, it's very similar to Bugatti Veyron. Hey girls, are you coming out? Girls? Oh, they might be coming out. I can hear them make a noise. But anyway, I better think about what I'm doing, what I'm going to do. i got to stop doing with that, that with camera. I think I've got an idea. How about instead of freaking carrying the camera, I make like a selfie stick, but I don't have a selfie stick. I like have a shoulder piece that goes over my shoulders and it like follows my head movements and whichever way I'm facing it follows and I have it like off-centered so it's like Hey, I'm a hero. Hey, look at that guy behind me. He's like, ah. ah. <laughs> that actually sounds like a really cool idea. It's too, it's too bad someone else painted it. Freaking hell. If, if, I, if I was able to, I could have painted that. Then I could have my dad's workshop build them. Or make them or whatever. And then, you know, sell them and make a bit of pocket money. At the same time, i got to pay my dad's wages. I have to pay the workers' wages. That way, uh, you know, everyone wins. I mean, 
for you to get somewhere in life, because honestly, there's a lot of young people watching this video. Right now, I am leaving my young gears behind. I'm no longer the young person I used to be. I am now growing up. I am being a elder. Or, or should I make a joke and say I sh I'm becoming an elder one? <laughs> yes, I, I know. There's a person out there that's always going to look at me and be like, Yeah, you're copying this person, you're copying that person, you're copying that, that, that. Well, I'm trying to make my own unique style, but it's very hard to when there are so many people that are so damn similar, you can't really do that. And if I was to become Tauskar, like, on a vocal level and all that stuff, he wouldn't be very popular on YouTube. It'd only be in a movie where you're actually making a scene about him and it's a story and whatnot. It wouldn't be good to be talking to the audience like Tauskar. I mean, he, he's most of the time very quiet. And I'm pretty sure you'll get bored of him. So... But by that I mean mostly when he's in his god form. Otherwise, when he's in his youth, he's not really that bad. Although he's in his youth for a million years, so what does it matter? I mean, this is the lesson to learn. The reason you're really here is because imagine living in heaven for a million years. What are you going to do? What are you going to experience? What are you going to remember? You're going to remember everything, and it's going to bother you that there's nothing left new to learn or whatever. And it's going to be a bother to you. So... You become a nanoparticle. You flit around in space and you learn how to mutate and grow into some itty bitty spider who climbed up the water spout. I'm not gonna sing the song though. The point of what I was just telling you is you're all here of your own decisions from the past life or something and though I, I could be completely wrong, I'm just doing this from a Tauska point of view. You basically are here because you wanted to be here because you're getting sick of the afterlife and how boring it was. So you decided to wipe your own memory and come down to Earth and be who you want to be, or who you wanted to be. Hey, you know what? I think maybe my character was greedy because I feel like I remember everything. And I'm almost a jack of all trades, so I do start to feel life is boring. So, yeah, that makes sense to me. That's... That's my metaphor, that's my opinion. But hey, everyone's entitled to their own opinions of what goes on in the world. And I think that this year, I've got a goal for the end of the year. I don't know if I'll reach it yet or not. But the massive goal, and I'm not going to make it if I don't have an intro, don't have an outro, and I don't make some theme songs to go with my channel. The girls came out, I like girls! Hello chickies! You see these beautiful little chickens? They're so incredibly cute and cuddly. Hello! 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 Look at her! Look at this one, she loves us. She's just looking our way. Hey, you looking our way still? Yeah, she was. It's just too bad she doesn't understand everything. I, I don't feel like unwrapping anything or wrapping anything up. I'm going to let mum do it because she's going to want to know. Oh, did I let the chickens, did I shut the chickens in or what? I, I want to, I want to send her a cuckoo for a minute to make her wonder, make her brain tweak a little bit. I got to be careful about what I do with the camera. But anyway, guys, I really, really want to impress the many and many a people and I really want to get up in the world I'm gonna push a long way and I'm gonna do it all in this one year I'm gonna power wogi and this year I gotta take one gamble at the very beginning of the year with my Christmas monies whether I do this for you or do it for myself it doesn't really matter because in the end it's gonna take a long time to regain ground that I've lost and the reason being is because for this to happen, I might not even get it finished. It might start and it might never finish. And that's the problem I've got. I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm, I'm st uh, skeptical. And this is why I kind of was thinking, maybe I should get some donations. Maybe I should get someone in Australia who said straight up for 750 Believe it or not, that's way out of my 
price range, what I can't afford. I was told, well, okay, I'll make this the shortest, longest video I can by telling you in detail, because I know I will talk random. But here's the thing, that intro animation is vital to the new videos that I'm going to upload. If I don't do this, you guys aren't going to subscribe. It, it's because it's this animation. If it comes out as perfect as I want it to come out, you're, you're going to be like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen next? And next, you're going to be so excited. You're going to be like, I, I love this guy. I love this idea idealism that he has. I mean, I'm, personally, I call myself a idea creator. I call myself the idealist. The idealist that I am is the guy who comes up with a creative idea and then someone else comes along and takes that idea and uses it and upgrades it and makes it work. And then the idealist comes around and say, yeah, you did a good job, or say, no. <laughs> I find it a little bit funny. I, I just, I, I'm finding this year so far very exciting. I don't know why. It's like as if I'm coming back to life in some way that I'm feeling better about living. Hey, I can't, I can't believe I did what I did last night. And it feels good because I never feel good. And how, how do I explain how I feel good? I feel cold in the chest with a, a tinge of happiness. I don't know how to explain the happiness I feel. I feel like smiling and I never normally feel like smiling. Never. And if someone makes me laugh, they're amazing because they made me laugh. Okay. So, that's really all I have to say. I'd like to pass a message on to Mr. Bashiverse or Brandon, as you may. And I hope that he gets the piece of art that I made because, you know, I thought it was pretty impressive. And that was the first time I ever did a real speed art video, although I was going to do one before. However, in the past, I've done crappy art. I've done some good art and I changed. Okay, for you guys who didn't notice, I want you to take a really good look at my banner on my channel and tell me what you see that's wrong with it or what you see that's different about it. I changed my art style. I want to see who notices it. I want to see who saw where the quickies were and blah, whatnot. I, I can't wait till a lot of things happen. And you are the viewer who's going to decide what happens next. You're going to decide. You hate me, you like me, you're neutral, you don't know. Because, in the end, you're going to be the one who decides the person, the person's fate. I can't wait to prove that I can grab the hearts and I can grab the attention of the audience. And I'm never going to do that unless I'm happy. I'm never going to do that unless I can make you happy. And I'm never going to be able to do that unless I get your attention. So to grab your attention and take your eyes off the screen for a minute is like you're bored you're looking for a particular kind of video and I have that particular kind of video you look at it and you think to yourself ah, here comes another lame brain excuse for the video and then all of a sudden you just see this little animation it's all nice and quiet and you're like oh here's what I expect is gonna happen and then boom whoa something completely different happened I wonder what's gonna happen next why are you attacking air oh there's actually a zombie there and then it goes on to oh he's getting into defensive position why is he in a defensive position and then all of a sudden your friend spawns and the camera rotates in such a way that you see why you're in a defensive position and it's a good idea because well I really want to see it live action rather than, you know, other stuff. Because if it's live action, you're going to feel a part of it. And it's almost 30 minutes, so I really want to wrap things up right now. Um, let's see if we can get at least 50 likes in the next month or so. I really appreciate you guys giving me the likes that will tell me that this video really was worth making. It will tell me if this video was any good in quality. Thank you all for watching and if you enjoy my videos please like, comment 
and decide from looking at my other content if you enjoy the channel or not, and then choose to subscribe. Other than that, Acrophiliosis, everybody.